It's a difficult thing finding out you're no longer attractive to the opposite sex. So without further ado, guys, let's get straight into today's video. I am absolutely convinced that men don't actually want relationships. As ladies get older, it's harder to find a man to get into a relationship <laughs> with. There's a couple of reasons for this, but one of which is men gain experience. Yes. They have been in a relationship, have been scorned, screwed over, mm. and then they decide, I want my own peace. The rest of the video proves this. Like men want their lives as is. They want mm. to go about their day exactly as it is. Their own peace. Do whatever they would normally do. God forbid they want to do the stuff that they would like to do with their own <laughs> lives. Oh my <laughs> God. What <the laughs> like? And just want somebody there when it's convenient for them. And that's the comment that makes me think you're bitter and single. It's not the fact that they want someone that's convenient for them. It's the fact that they want someone to add to their lives and not take away things that they enjoy, which is what they have been previously used to. Do we get it yet? Or, you know, for the things they want to do. Like and that is why men are staying single. So they can do whatever it is that they want to do without any bad judgment from anyone. The fact that it's a concern to you that they're doing this is a massive red flag. So men aren't going to look at you and go, yeah, she wants to take over my life. That's, um, that's <laughs> wifey material. I'm, convince me I'm wrong. No convincing needed because you're absolutely... I know it's difficult sometimes. It is. Very, very difficult when you're dating somebody and that person's being very difficult and then you are hurt and so you start lashing out at all men. Not all men are like that. I think as, as a man, when we start off dating, you know, we're very gullible. We love the girl. You know, there's always the girl that we love, 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 right? And this has happened to me. It has happened to three of my friends. At the same time when we were growing up, we all were so into our girlfriends, did everything for them, traveled with them, they like really dated them, treated them good, right? But these now think three guys in the same group all experienced this, right? My friend calls me one night, he is crying, he's losing it, right? His girlfriend cheated on him with two guys. Two guys, I would get one guy, but two guys, he's totally destroyed, right? Totally destroyed, but then he morphs into something else. Have you ever cheated before? Oh my God, you always ask me this. I, so when do I ever ask you this? Yes. Oh. <laughs> You're so happy about that. Yeah. I cheated on my first boyfriend. Another friend of mine uh, is losing it one night. He calls me. And he's like, should I go to her place? I'm like, let her be. Don't, don't text her. Just let her be. No, I have to find out if she slept with a guy when she was out of the country. I have to find out. I have to find out. And he's like losing it. I say, when you're in this state, don't talk to her. Wait. He doesn't wait. He goes. And then he finds out that his girlfriend, when she was traveling, uh, I can't say the country because it's a little bit too close. But when she was traveling... She cheated on him with another guy and she was very sorry and all of that, right? And then it happened to me as well. So all three of us, it happened to, and it changed us, right? And now we morphed into the guys which probably don't care about women. When I was 16 or 17, I cheated on my boyfriend at the time and the guilt that consumed me from cheating on him when I was drunk at 16 or 17 was awful. And I lied and I lied and I lied and I lied about it. And it was only two years ago that I actually reached out to him and I was like, yes, I did cheat on you. Not that we don't care, but we're very cautious and we're very like, mm, should I really be in a relationship? Because how does this benefit me? And I had a conversation about this when I was talking to the latest girl that I was talking to. We, we stopped talking. But anyway, I put in effort and 
the more effort that I put in, the less interested she was, right? But then I just stopped. And then all of a sudden she was interested again, which I find interesting. The fact that I'm not pursuing you and that's why you're interested. Now, I don't know if the girl is only interested in me because I'm interested in her, right? But it's something which I've noticed when it comes to women. It's you just have to let them be. The more you try, the more they're not interested. Fellow in his 30s plus does not want a relationship in the same way like he did when he was in his 20s. Mm. Why? Because he's been in a relationship and he's learned. He likes his own life. He likes to be able to do what he wants. Fact. And if a woman wants to tie one of these guys down, she's got to go above and beyond to tie the guy down. It's not as easy anymore. You can't get pissed off with men being screwed over, getting smarter, wanting to take a bit more care of themselves because you can't find a man as easy as you used to. <sighs> Welcome to life. Drizzle Drizzle is not asking for a lot. Drizzle Drizzle is about respect. It's about giving me something that you can't give anybody else. See, when you spend money on someone, that money is gone. That means that money was for that person alone. For thousands of years, guys have been dying on the line for a woman who only gives back what they've given to 50 other men, and they'll give to 50 other men since. Drizzle Drizzle is about giving somebody something truly special. It's about sending the Uber Black instead of the Uber X. It's about buying me a new Kanali white shirt so I look good when we go out because I gotta look good too. It's about giving me that compliment, letting me know that no other guy on this planet can wear a Kanali shirt like I can wear it. Drizzle Drizzle is about knowing that I don't want flowers, so you buy me a first edition foil Charizard instead, or maybe a Beta Iron Lotus from Magic the Gathering instead, or both and make it a bouquet, because I don't like flowers. Drizzle Drizzle. Drizzle Drizzle is about proving your worth. It's about investing in me. It's about showing me that you are a good person and I can trust you. That you didn't fight for equality just to keep all of that money in a bank account. That you want to spend it on me. That you want to go 50-50. That you want to make me feel like a king. That you value the fact that I've got gray in my beard and I've seen the world already and that I can cook. Drizzle Drizzle is about showing me that you're ready to treat me like a king. Stay up. Men don't want to continue to invest in a partner who changes the nature of their relationship on a whim, withholds affection, mm. and segs because she feels differently after he commits, and provides a home, stability, and security. He doesn't want you running his life, especially if you are going to continue to be a flip of the coin psycho who can use the law to take from him whatever you want. Women show their love through sexual loyalty. They show their love mm. through sexual exclusivity. Mm. A man shows his love other ways. So when you see a man who's crying over the girl, he lost because he cheated. And they're like, why is he crying? He loves me. He doesn't love me. Yes, he does. Mm. He loves you. He came back to you. <laughs> who cares about that bitch? He doesn't care about her. Why do you care about her? Women say they want relationships, but from the way they speak, it sounds more like sponsorships where men make their lives easier while they make men's lives harder. What a deal. We've only been together for a year and a half. Oh, all right, come on, you're fine. But I'm also 36. Yuck. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That could happen in a year. Even after a year goes by, it's Shut still- Shut up, it's, you guys! <laughs> still only two and a half years, even if he waits another year, that's not a lot of time. Do you want kids? <laughs> yeah! Oh, jeez, I think those eggs are scrambled. Uh, hey! <laughs> the only girls that I really see complain about this or talk about this are the ones who can tell are magnets for toxic guys. It's not the girls that like normal guys, that just want to enjoy life. They always are the type that seems to be attracted to guys that have way too many options for them to care about their feelings, and would rather have his peace, and when he's interested to come deal with you because you leave yourself widely available. It's the same with guys. A lot of guys nowadays are upset that women treat them like crap, but they keep going after the same woman that has 10 to 15 guys all wanting her attention. I think it's just you teach people how to treat you at the end of the day. If a person treats you bad and you're still giving them affection, then of course they're, they're going to look at you first like you have no self-confidence, no self-worth. You don't, 
look at yourself like a prize. The thing with alpha male, which is so captivating, which I think a lot of women are like super interested in, is the fact that they always look at themselves like a prize. They always take themselves as number one. So for instance, if something happens, they don't take disrespect from a woman. Do women really like bad guys? And why does it seem like the women go for the bad guys? Meanwhile, you're nice, respectful, and they go for the jerk. Okay, here's why. The bad guys don't care about the outcome of what's gonna happen. The bad guys don't care. So they come off as mysterious. You too can do these things. You have to do the inner work to realize that none of these interactions matter. Nothing means anything about you personally if she rejects you or if she accepts you. They don't have that. So women often choose this vibe because it's intoxicating to women. When a guy is really not caring about the outcome, it's it's liberating. It's almost like freedom. It's like you can taste it. It's, it's like a vibe, not literally, but it's like a vibe. They cut her off. And that is very attractive because a woman wants to be with a guy which can cut her off. They want to go through that roller coaster of emotion. That's what a woman wants. So at the end of the day, you're not doing her any favors by being nice to her. You're not. Now you should not be P. Diddy doing all of that. I don't I don't think you should go that crazy, but I think that you should at least have some form of standards. I, I'm not I'm not gonna be nice to you after you treat me like shit. Let's talk about what most high value men look for in a wife. I have only dated very successful men or men who are about to be very successful. If we're not counting high school, okay, high school, it was dusties. It was just dusties. <laughs> Basically, the main thing that high value men are looking for is somebody to make their life happier outside of the workplace. These men need somebody to increase the value in their emotional life and their fulfillment in life. As a woman, your emotional intelligence is one of your biggest assets to men in their eyes. Are you able to calm them down before a business meeting? Are you able to make them happier when they're stressed out? The second thing is they love a woman that has healthy habits that will naturally make them have healthy habits as well. If you love to work out, you don't party all the time, you like to eat good. They also like when you add value in experiences. So you might not be paying for anything, but having good ideas of things that you guys should do, restaurants you should go to, trips that you can go on, maybe you help plan things, that's very valuable in a man's eyes. Okay, let's clap it up. Round of applause for all and everybody who is just appalled by this drizzle drizzle. Okay, before y'all even think y'all know what I'm about to say, because you don't. I'm not appalled by it. Matter of fact, it doesn't even bother me. But what bothers me is the fact that y'all are in y'all bag over this. Like, y'all are so upset about this. And what I like to know is when old girl was on that sprinkle, sprinkle movement, fulminating out the mouth, dogging our men out, talking all kind of trash about them, trying to put us on, give us tips and teach us how to train how to train and 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 move as if they were pets a part of our lifestyle y'all had no words for that y'all were hooting hollering cheering it up sharing with your friends tagging this person you know oh yeah that's racist oh my god this that, and the third but now that somebody else has started this drizzle drizzle movement, y'all got all the issues in the world. And all I like to know is why? Genuinely, I'm a nice person. I am. I can't shake that away from my personality. I am a nice person. But with time, I've noticed that I have to be nice to certain people. I have to be nice to the people which are nice to me. If a girl isn't treating me the way that I want to be treated, I can gracefully bow out she has no reason to be loyal or care about your feelings because she has her own feelings to care about mm. and those take priority a lot of times these people aren't even super heartless they just are focused on their own personal enjoyment of life 
These women find unattractive in modern day men. Number one, men who are in touch with their feminine side. Some examples of the modern day men being in touch with their feminine side. Commonly, guys now are almost overly emotional. Number two is pick me boys. Now, pick me boy is a guy who's fishing for compliments. Oh my God, I'm just so ugly. It's because they want you to call them cute or attractive. Or a pick me boy is a guy saying, no one's ever gonna wanna date me. If you keep talking like that, no one really is gonna wanna date you. Number three is guys who do not work out or stay in shape. Girl wants a boy who can pick them up. If my boy's arms were smaller than mine, one, that would make me feel self-conscious, and two, it just would not be attractive. Now, although no one ever says it, physical attributes in a man are extremely attractive. People mm. always think that that is a bad thing, but just because you're attracted to how someone looks does not mean it's a bad thing. Um, obviously, personality is a huge thing as well, but physical attributes also just increases attractiveness so much. Men no longer want to start a relationship with someone who has not worked their issues out anymore. Listen to what you said. You literally let it be known that you want control over another human being. This comes from having been treated horribly in the past, either by an ex-husband or boyfriend. That much respect can sympathize with, but the issue doesn't just go away. In fact, most young women have become so numb and untrusting from failure after failure in relationships, that way too much is expected from the next guy. Since when are there rules to getting to know someone for who they are and trusting them, and eventually falling in love without changing a thing, except your status as far as being single or married, or in a relationship? So you but, expect but the girl to okay, be the loyal most, to you before on the first date? That is probably the most attractive yes, thing a girl could do. Know. But it's not is saying I'm not seeing other guys right now as a guy That's the most attractive thing you can do So if you want to be more attractive to the guy then that's what you do as a guy If I want to be more attractive to you, I have to get my money up I have to go to the gym. I have to build connections. I have to be more charismatic as a girl You don't have to do all that shit mm. who made the rules I can tell you that when you're not so troubled and obsessed with finding your guy he will come Stop putting up boundaries and walls and look at life for what it really is Calm that storm inside of you down and think for a second about that peace. Nothing matters except your peace. Peace within yourself and peace with your demons. 100%. Men want a clear and honest relationship with a woman who has peace and won't bring drama or trouble to them. We are sick of that. We've had that. It's time to try something new. Men want women that they can trust and know that they'll be there. It's not about convenience but mutual respect and assistance. Men will go above and beyond to help women but we need to know that the women will do the same. A guy I know had to be out of town on a work assignment for several months. When he came back home, he found out his wife was pregnant and he was beyond elated. That all changed when the baby was delivered and it was a different skin color than his ethnicity. That's why many men don't trust women anymore. I hear and see plenty of women bragging about the freedom they enjoy when they've kicked their man to the curb only to cry about there being no good men months later. When everyone else is the problem, the problem is likely you. <laughs> I would say that guys can become relationship phobic after a bad experience oh and can be cruel to women. And the same happens in reverse. Mm. So I do advocate a time out after a bad breakup to get yourself centered again and ready to give of yourself without so much baggage. Or just embrace the single life if you're genuinely done. Don't complain online about the others. Mm. It's true that women shift more to the periphery once a relationship is becoming more steady. We've had the turmoil and the drama. Let's go back to normal. Women who crave that and want to be in the center all the time. Getting plenty of validation and attention can't cope with that. But life doesn't exist of sunsets and roses. Realizing that is a sign of maturity. <sighs> However, modern women never grow up. Why is it that when a man gets tied down to the wifey, she wants to take his total freedom from him? Is it she thinks he's going to cheat on her in secret? And she finds ways to disrupt his way of life? Freedom to the point she wrecks his life. Here's a clue why don't she get interested in her hubby's hobbies. Just maybe she'll be happier with her hubby, and they'll be closer as man and wife. What men don't want is to pay someone not to be with them anymore. I know so many men who are paying their ex-wife because she decided she wasn't happy anymore and wanted her freedom. Alimony and child support payments can financially ruin your life. Stay single, gentlemen. These women wanted to be strong and independent. Them have that with their own money. It makes me so sad that there are enough selfish women that so many men end up deciding that there is absolutely nothing to gain from What I'm going to do right now, and I've planned it, I want to be single for as long as I can be. And if I find somebody which 
I can consider marrying. I'll marry her, but she needs to be my best friend. This person, we, we, we really need to have like certain, there's certain things that we have to connect on, like on a spiritual level, I have to say, even like the way that we think, it has to be similar. She probably has to be a creator. If you're dating somebody, if you're looking for a partner, don't just go for attraction because at the end of the day, attraction fades, it does. But if you, you two are honestly like really, really good friends, when the attraction disappears, let's say there's a two year period, you guys are super attracted to each other. Then after that two year period, then the friendship starts to kick in. Y'all bullied Ben so much that they are all now banding together to enter their soft guy era. You bullied them and said that they're toxic if they're too masculine. And being a tough guy or a macho manly guy isn't gonna work for a woman. Well, you bullied them and it worked. And guess what? You aren't gonna be happy about the monsters you create. Sorry, beautiful monsters you created with all this drizzle drizzle soft guy energy entering the chat well guess what ladies who's gonna take out the garbage the guys have all joined a pack together and said it's your job to take out the garbage who's gonna be the passenger princess not you it's him all of these guys are joining together to now be in their soft guy era and i don't think it's gonna change in fact expect more sass just when you thought you had too much sass in a relationship just being you more sass has entered the relationship. I don't know what y'all created, why you did this. Honestly, go for men. Good for you. As much as I love a manly man, I also love a man who is in tune with their feminine side, in tune with their emotions. I do think guys deserve it, just like we do. I would never ask something for myself that I wouldn't give in return. If I ask you to go get my water or go get me a snack, you better believe that I'm cooking you dinner and I'm doing your laundry. Frank here is a male cat, so he has also entered his soft guy era. Frank, what do you think? It's great. Let me tell you what kind of wife I am. Habibi, you have my full support. While my husband is out there working, I don't even text him, I don't bother him at all. You know why? Because I wanna see us win, Habibi. While he's out there breaking his back, I just got an iced coffee and a chocolate chip cookie for $9. I'm trying to live the life. So you're telling me we're not going to be able to spend so much time? That's okay, I supporting you, Habibi. Keep it up. As a woman, I've seen the opposite problem with the women around me. With women giving too much care and laboring too much for a husband that abuses and only takes. And even going through that myself and building up a broken man to the point he had a job and a place to live after having nothing. Only for him to abuse me and still say I wasn't giving enough. If only there was a way for givers to end up in relationships with other givers. Men, there are good women out there. But I am so sorry it's so hard to find them, and that you've been hurt enough to give up entirely. I wanted to give up too, and for a time I was jaded, and didn't believe there was any point in trying anymore. But we're all people in the end, no matter the gender, and I had to believe there are good men out there, just as I see proof of good women around me. And for now, I have some fight left in me. I hope you'll all be happy and have good lives, whether you decide to stay single or a good person wanders into your life. Women should be starting to understand men in relationships at age 16, not 32 after they've massed huge body counts. Make a man chase and understand you slowly. Don't go partying and sleeping around. Sadly, women follow the feminist narrative thinking she's the prize. Men don't see it that way. Why would I commit to you when every woman I've committed to has spat in my face when I tried to give them the world? Oh, you're so different, I'm sure. Just like the last three. Convince me with behavior, not words. I know my worth and lies and mind games don't work on me now. I don't mess with the high school drama, and I will treat you with equal respect shown to me until you've made yourself dear to me. Men are learning so they are avoiding the pitfalls made by other men. But women aren't learning and still making the mistakes of all the other lonely women still confused and wondering why no man wants them. Date yourself. Treat yourself to a great dinner, buy yourself a camera, a car, a motorbike, just treat yourself good.
And then when she sees that you're good, that's going to attract her. But yeah, those are my thoughts when it comes to this. Like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.